One question that I get a lot regarding the saw milling is moisture content, drying wood, and the importance of that. Changes in moisture content will either cause wood to expand or contract. That's why it's extremely important to be working with dry wood when you're building something, especially when working with epoxy. If you use wood that is still green or has a lot of internal moisture, you will almost always run into warping, cracking, or cupping issues almost immediately. Even when wood is completely dry or kiln dried, you will still run into small amounts of seasonal movement as wood absorbs moisture in the summer and releases it in the winter. You can think about how a door might get tight in the summer and then gets a little bit loose and free in the winter time. It's that exact same concept. Wood typically moves a lot more across the grain than it does lengthwise. So it's definitely something that you're gonna to wanna to take into account if you're building something like a tabletop or a wide panel project like that. I recently got my hands on one of these Orion 950 moisture meters from Wagner and it has been a fantastic addition to the shop. Knowing the moisture content of the wood I'm using is absolutely essential to the building process. Whether you have a sawmill yourself or you just do woodworking, this is a great tool to keep around the shop. I cut most of my wood four quarter on my sawmill and a lot of it was standing dead before it got milled. So after about a year of air drying, it's pretty close to where it needs to be. This is a great way for me to confirm that before I make anything out of it. The 950 has different species material buttons and numbers which coordinate to different species of wood. This gives you an accurate reading at all times. Wagner has a whole lineup of different meters for different applications. I personally have experience with the 930 and the 950. Both of those are pinless meters which is awesome because it allows you to get an accurate reading without damaging the surface of your material. One of my favorite things about these meters is that you can read at different depths, quarter inch and three quarters of an inch. That comes in super handy when you're working with material that's thicker and the quarter inch comes in handier when you're working with thinner material. This is a piece of eight quarter walnut that I cut on my sawmill about a year and a half ago. You can see I've got it on the three quarter inch setting and we're already down to about 12%. You can see on the bottom of the meter that little pad. Essentially that sends out small electrical signals into the wood which creates a small electromagnetic field and that's what gives you that accurate reading without damaging the surface. This is a piece of ash that I cut on my sawmill about a year ago and you can see we're already down to about 12% in some areas a little bit more. The 950 has a ton of features, but I like that everything is accessible with one or two pushes of the button. I don't want to have to go through five different screens to change settings, and this is very easy to use. The hold button is also great. This allows me to slide it in between stickers on a stack of lumber and hold the reading on the screen so I can slide the meter out and read what it says. As a general rule of thumb, I like for the wood that I use to be between 6 and 8% for all of my projects. This is a piece of poplar that I cut about a year ago, and you can see how low it already is. The process of wood drying out is very fascinating. This is a piece of 5 quarter cherry that was cut about a month and a half ago green. At the time, it would have maxed out this meter at over 32%. After only a month and a half, it's gone down all the way to about 12%. Like I mentioned earlier, this meter has a ton of different settings, and one of those is the species material setting. Every different type of wood has a number associated with it, and in order to get an accurate reading, you can really dial in the meter using these numbers. Knowing the moisture content of the wood you're using is essential if you do any amount of woodworking, and a meter like this 950 will give you instant readings that you can trust are accurate. I also have experience using Wagner's Orion 930, and it's a fantastic option too. I've been super impressed with this thing and have really started using it a lot this spring as the weather's gotten warmer and I've been doing more sawmilling.